Many Liberians applauded President Barack Obama's decision to delay the deportation of thousands of Liberians in the United States at a special status. But now others are anxious about what will happen a year from now when that status may expire. My co-host Nintimiaki Makalili has more. Thousands of Liberians who fled their 1989 civil war for the U.S. remain here at the discretion of the Deferred Enforced Departure Order, or DED. President Obama extended it for one year prior to its scheduled March 31st expiration. Ernest Johnson is president of the Liberian Community Association. Hopefully, the Congress can help us to get the residency for our members. Years ago, U.S. Senator Jack Reed introduced legislation to come to the aid of Liberian refugees. It's the Liberian Refugee Immigration Fairness Act, but the bill is on hold. Supporters of the bill will have to work hard to get it to be put back on the Senate calendar for a vote. We have representatives all over the country that will be called into the representatives and the senator to help us pass the bill. But Ali Nurani, president of the National Immigration Forum, warns that there is no guarantee that Congress will come to the aid of Liberians in time. So even if the legislation is filed tomorrow, it could happen in one month, it could happen in three months, it could happen for may not happen for years. So it's always important for the Liberian community to be reaching out to members of Congress and the president saying, this is who we are, this is the value that we are adding, and this is our home. Many Liberians who were granted temporary protected status in 1991 have no other legal way to remain in the U.S. without That's new legislation. But Amira Woods of the Institute for Policy Studies says Liberians deserve equal treatment with other immigrants. The goal would be to have Liberia included with other efforts of immigration reform that give people opportunities to, to um, maintain employment, to maintain residency. Liberian refugees who have built lives in the U.S. each year watch anxiously for the president to sign an extension of the DED order that keeps them in the country legally. When that, the, the deadlines are pushing, and everyone is on edge. The series of conflicts in Liberia between 1989 and 2003 between armed groups over minerals claimed an estimated 200,000 lives. Though now peace and calm have returned to Liberia under the democratically elected government of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, many believe Liberians in America should not be forced to return home. Amira Woods says Liberia's economy is still in recovery. Liberia is facing some dire circumstances with 26 years of war and still emerging with a lot of challenges, particularly in the area of, of, of employment, um, being able to revive an economy that sustains the needs of its citizens. This is a tall order. President Obama has pledged to push for immigration reform, as have many members of the U.S. Congress. But for thousands of Liberians and other immigrants facing deportation, time is running out. Dimyake Mwakalielie, VOA News.